How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we just opened up our new location and I am excited and more than happy to announce that we are hiring. So if you're an artist and you have a solid clientele, good energy, good vibes, then get in contact with me. We are also accepting guest spots. So if you want a guest spot for a weekend or a whole week or two weeks, let me know. But the first project I'm gonna be doing in this building is gonna be crazy. This week I have my client flying in from Atlanta to get a full sleeve in two days. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. So what are your ideas as far as what, you know, how you're trying to approach it? Yeah, we so, do it I mean, we have a big project, so. Yeah, we, okay. I, I did write down a couple ideas. So one, one thing that I generally kind of like that I see a lot is just like space stuff to me. It looks really cool. Like, I was just really thinking, but I was trying to think, well, what about movies, right? Because I'm a cinematographer. And I was like, what about movies that have inspired me? Or a director, for instance, my favorite director is Christopher Nolan, who has like movies like Inception and like Interstellar, which again is like the space theme. You know, say, hey, I want this to be obviously, mm -hmm. you know, I put it in the email. I want it to be something that you're super proud yeah. of. Because we're going to do something epic, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, perfect. I think we have uh, more than enough to work with. And um, I feel like we just got to customize and put it together. To bed at like eight. I went, oh, and got, I went and got some of those gummies. Some little. <laughs> you knocked out. I dosed up on those, man, and I was out. What made y'all want to move from your old place? Just we couldn't space? fit anymore. Because we have an upstairs too, but we're still fixing it. Feels weird just having a hairless arm. <laughs> <laughs> and tattoos look better when you shave, so I'm just saying. I know, I might have to keep it shaved now. You're going to have to keep it shaved. Dude, look at the difference. I know. It's insane. It oh! is. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> like, you're like half Mexican and half... <laughs> <laughs> well, that smells good. Yeah, smells like I'm about to get a tattoo. <laughs> I smell pain. I smell... I know, literally. <laughs> I smell pain. Actually, right there, perfect. Let me concentrate up in here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Right, let me see, relax your arm. I'm gonna have you check out the placement on the mirror. <sighs> what a project. Yeah, we about to be in it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Let's go. Stars. I'm getting excited about these stars. Ding, ding, <laughs> ding. <There you> go. <laughs> Ready? Give it a sound effect. I'm gonna do three dots. Ready? Bow. <laughs> 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 what? What? Sound like a chicken. Right? I, I don't know. <laughs> Sound like that. I, yeah. thought, I, I know, but I couldn't the, get past the first the one. The sound threw that. him off. I was like, he threw me off with that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing it? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. So what I'm doing here, I am adding the white highlights, and because uh, I don't want to come back to this, to this, uh, to the forum, so I'm just gonna do the whole entire thing, put some ointment on it, keep it moisturized throughout throughout the day. That way, by the time we're done, I don't have to come back to the bottom part of the uh, forum here, and it's it's less painful. Because uh, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm moving on to the arm and yeah, I, I want to leave this area finished. So if you're thinking about doing a whole outer sleeve, there's two ways to approach it. If you are splitting the project into two days, I would suggest for you guys to do the forearm, I mean the, the arm first. 
That way you are wiping down and the second day do the forearm. But since I'm doing it all in one day, I started from the bottom up and completing by sections. Or there's a, there's a third way that you can do it, which I don't like it personally, but it's also very effective where you start tattooing the arm, you put on the stencil on the arm, you finish it, and then you guys take a break, whatever, and then uh, you put on the second stencil on the forearm and continue to navigate through the outer sleeve. But since today I'm doing it only one day, I want to make sure that the forearm is completed before I touch the arm. But other than that, I am static. Is that a word? That is a word, huh? Static? E ecstatic. Ecstatic. With the X? X? Uh, I don't ecstatic? know how you, yeah. Or ES? Yes. Ecstatic. ecstatic. Doesn't sound right, guys. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make sense. Ecstatic. That's it. It sounds like somebody spelled it in Spanish. Ecstatic. <laughs> Can I get a Sprite? You know what I mean? <laughs> sprite. <laughs> Can we just switch it to an X just for today? Ecstatic. Ecstatic. You know That's what I mean? Fine. I'm fine with it. Thank sounds you. good. Close enough. It just sounds. It just sounds exquisite. Yeah. <laughs>
don't think we would have made it yesterday, to be honest. Maybe we would have have, but maybe you would have been so, like, in pain at night. Yeah. I thought of that, too. I was like, I could probably fight through this, but I was like, but, <laughs> but. will I end up, like, convulsing when I get home? <laughs> Emotional damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> I'm glad you showed up, Chepe. Nobody else is coming. Monday is the first day of the week. Ooh! Damn! You ain't wrong, man. You ready for the first day of the week? <laughs> Let's go. So this is officially the third day of tattooing. Um, when you reach a point where you just get super tired, everything's just gonna hurt, you know? Everything just gets painful. And yesterday, I decided to call it because he, I know he was gonna push through it if I was gonna, if I would've told him, hey, I wanna keep going, but, um, I knew that it was just too painful. His energy, his uh, stamina, everything was just super low. He was just pretty much done yesterday. And um, I decided to call it because there's two things that could have happened if I would have kept going. And this is a good tip for everybody who's looking into doing huge projects like this back to back. If you keep going and the client is in pain, there's he's either gonna go in a state of shock where he's probably gonna throw up, maybe he's gonna faint, maybe he's gonna just feel super tired and sick, maybe get a fever. There's a lot of factors that can happen. Um, and, you know, it's better just to call it if you have that extra day. Uh, obviously, you can, you know, if, if your client is local, then you can just, you know, oh, I'll come back in two weeks, you know? But in this case, for, if you're an artist that gets clients from out of state, now that's where it gets tricky and you have to know when to stop, how to navigate, and how to approach that situation. Because, you know, if he starts feeling sick, what are you gonna do, you know? And um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so, I can ex so, so you can see what I'm doing. So uh, I would say the smart thing you did in that case is that even though you knew you could do this in two days, you told me on the front end, you know, Hey, three days, you know, and even mm -hmm. that, that way I booked my trip accordingly, you know? Yes. Because we certainly could have finished yesterday and that would have gave me, you know, just a, a, another day here not doing anything. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, thankfully we, we thought ahead and we did have this extra time. So. Yes. And that helps, you know, I mean, now today he came back and he's like, okay, I'm ready. You know, like it, even though he knows it's going to hurt, at least now his energy levels are like up here. He had a good night's sleep, good breakfast, he has protein in his body, and ready to go back at it, you know? Because once you're mentally defeated, like, you're done, you know? There's yeah. no coming back from that. I was trying to, like, psych myself up mentally, yeah. but it was like, every time I'd say, like, you, you, can, you can do this, I, the other side of me was like, no, you can't. No, you can't, bro, you're you done. Know, you <laughs> Give up. I mean, even you had food yesterday and you felt nauseous. Yeah, right? I couldn't, even, I couldn't yeah. really eat my, my dinner, because... Yeah. And, and that's the same, you, you just you were just going through a lot. But yeah, always book that extra day just in case. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now is apply my blue here. And my approach is gonna be, because right now his energy levels are up here, I'm gonna uh, attack this corners here. Even though it's gonna hurt, he has a lot, a lot of energy right now. So I definitely wanna put effort into the areas that is the most painful. That way he can relax by the time I get to the planets and the, you know, uh, meteors. And for these uh, planets, uh, I do want to add a darker background so the planets can be brighter. And uh, for the full entire sleeve, the cartridge that I ended up using was a 14 round liner. And the reason why is because I just feel super comfortable with packing color with this cartridge because I use it so much and I'm able to do faster coverage across the whole entire thing you know, um, very easy. It allows me to move faster. A 14 round liner for me is, is, is my go-to for everything. And then as I'm going, I'm just kind of leaving negative space in random spots for, so I can add a white highlight and make it into a star. So it's not something I plan ahead, I just go with the flow. I'm just adding blue and then I'm like, I might have start right here. But I also keep in mind throughout the whole thing that I don't want to have two stars like next to each other. So I'll probably do one, two, separate them, one, two, separate them. That way it's not full of white dots everywhere. So it's kind of nicely separated and even throughout the, the piece. So 
So since I have one here, I'll add another one right here and then stay away from this area until I move on to a different spot. As I get closer to the border here, uh, I definitely wanna, I see this gap here and I'm gonna make it into a meteor because it's gonna make a good addition to connecting both sides. And I just, saw, I just see shapes, you know? Uh, and once I see that shape, I'm like, okay, that's, that can turn into something. Because at the end of the day, if you have your meteors, or uh, if you have your concept memorized, you're able to make decisions like that. And I, and I think I said this multiple times on, diff on different videos, where if you can make something into something else, even though it's not, it's not in your reference, do it, you know? Your best judgment, but you have to be 100% sure. That should be my slogan. If you can turn it something into something else, do it. <laughs> Don't be scared. There you go. And then on the bottom of that meteor, um, imperfections is what is gonna help you to make it look more realistic because you're gonna add a sol I'm, well, I'm gonna add a solid black line here to define the rock. And then this little imperfections is gonna seem like it's creating a highlight under that solid black. That way you don't have, you know, dark tones uh, um, next to each other. But here on the top, make sure that it's solid, solid. Perfect. So I'm gonna keep going with the same technique throughout the whole entire uh, armpit and move on to the planets. Here we go. Last three minutes. You got it. You got it. Yep. You're good. Do a whole other sleeve right now. The what? I can do a whole other sleeve right now. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of energy, huh? <laughs> You made it. You made it. All right, so three days back to back, 21 hours. What was the most painful part out of the whole thing? <sighs> Man. That you're like, I wouldn't do that again. Most painful part is the armpit, I think. <laughs> the, the armpit. The armpit. For sure. The ditch area, mm -hmm. and then the wrist. The wrist. And yeah, I didn't see you kind of like hurting though on the wrist. Well, I Ooh. thought the wrist was bad yeah. until we got until to you the, the armpit. Until we got to the armpit. And then, what about the elbow? Yeah, the elbow. The was, elbow sucked. Yeah, yeah, the elbow was pretty bad too. I think yesterday when I was when I did your tricep, that's when it went to shit. Yeah, you know, because I uh, quickly. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I feel like I could have navigated better on like going through the middle and then working my way to the tricep, but I feel like. I was like, you know what, let's get the tricep out of the way and uh, messed it up because that drained your energy like crazy. Yeah, the, I mean, all of the mm -hmm. skin on the back side mm -hmm. is tender. There's a lot of ink packed in here. There's a lot of ink packed in. Yeah. This and is... I, I, I hope that when I take the pictures, I'm able to capture like all this color because it's like, it's so bright, <laughs> like yeah. super bright. It's bold. Night one uh -huh. was rough. Um, mm -hmm. I got like two hours mm -hmm. of sleep. So I think day two, mm -hmm. I was really, my stamina was already mm. down. Oh yeah, I didn't, no sleep. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep. Mm -hmm. um, I felt kind of dehydrated because mm -hmm. the night, day, night one before mm -hmm. I came in on day one, yeah. I drank a crap ton of water. And then during that day, you didn't drink water. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like because the most important thing when it comes down to doing big projects like this is just being hydrated and have a ton of sleep and you going on two hours of sleep and no water, 
by the time we got to the point of like the, your breaking point, then that's when you got nauseous. Other than that, damn, we made it. I thought you were gonna fight me at some point too. <laughs> I got a little hangry at some point yesterday. <laughs> I was like, this was gonna fight me right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. I mean, mm. Mr. Reyes, Kevin, mm. he's mm. great. Mm. Uh, what you guys see in these videos is who he really mm. is, right? Like, thank you so much. Yeah, you know, it's he's he's good to be around. Fun. Mm. Try know. to make the experience. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> you know. You got a, a a private dance. I did get a private dance. It was and then a slightly, private slightly a, weird. But. And then <laughs> a <laughs> private mini concert of me singing twenty four seven. He does sing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that. Let's go home, my Let's guy. I'm ready to go eat some cookies. <laughs> I heard that.